Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kutu Loops. In our last episode, we ended things off after having had a royal rumble with Sada and her um, fiery dreamers and earthly dreamers and horror sleep hunters and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I guess she thought that I was part of the God King's coven or whatever, and she decided to try to blast me in the ass, but didn't work. What is this? I do not understand. I searched for my love, but my love has gone. What am I? Um, you are dead is what you are. Listen, I don't really need your source, but, uh, no more. but, you know, Sabeel could definitely use understand. your source, so... Uh, yes. Yes, and you guessed it. Yes. Fantastic. Alright, so in between episodes, I actually went around, um, kind of absorbing some of their source and whatnot, because I realized that we'd use some of the source. Uh, and I guess we're good to bugger off now. I'm assuming... Ah. Uh, right, okay. I was gonna say that I'm assuming this is gonna take us back out. Alright, now the portal is also gone. Well, it's good to be back in the uh, real world and all that stuff. Um, thankfully, we didn't die in the dream world, so we didn't die in real life. <laughs> ah, good reference. Good reference. All right, so are we done here? Are we pretty much done with the consulate? No, Sada is dead. So what else am I supposed to do? The lizard consulate. I'm sorry, did someone say something? How am I supposed to finish this quest now? What exactly do I do? Sada is dead. I've absorbed her source. Do I talk to this lizard? Are you a lizard wizard? With a gizzard? Its hate for the Magister's rage is on, unabated. Yeah, she's dead. There's no need to uh, follow his thoughts into where Sada might be, because... As we all know, we completely just annihilated her dick. Hey guys. I fixed the problem in there. I didn't think it'd be possible to make it into the consulate, but you've proven me wrong. Ask what happened. Wait, wait, didn't we already talk to these guys? Guys? You made it inside. Is it safe? We we thought there might still be void mode in there. No, no, you're good. You're good. I cleared out the entire place. Don't worry, there's no uh, cursed fire or anything left behind either, so um you guys can do as it please. So wait. What am I supposed to do now? How do I complete this quest? Right. Okay. Dead Void Woken inside the consulate. There's no real indication as to what we need to do with the rest of the quest now. The Portal of Dreams. Well, it's not there anymore. What the fuck do you want me to do? Um... Okay, well, let me try talking to one of the uh, spirits again. Maybe... Maybe that'll update things, because, you know. Alert and focused, this spirit is not lost at all. Look for the face of the Red Princess. The inquiry. But before the door in her mind closes, you Search for the Dreamer's location. The dreamer's Story of her death. Her. She closes her mind. Useless. Absolutely useless. What the fuck? Alright, well, let me search around here again, just to... make doubly sure that I didn't, you know, miss something. But, as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem like I have missed anything. I don't understand. Am I supposed to go down there? No, that's not it. Nope, as far as I'm aware, this place is completely empty and devoid of life now. Um, maybe over this side? Nope. Just a lot of, uh, dead things. I, uh... Do I only get to complete that quest if I have the Red Prince with me? Because that's kind of fucking garbage. Hey guys? What happened? Uh, why are the Magister responsible? Can I take a closer look? Okay, nope. That was not helpful at all. What the fuck? Hey guys? Pilgrim? Until the house of wars hit. It's you listen, I cleared it out, okay? I'm just gonna absorb this Void Woken's dead body so you guys aren't distracted by it anymore. There. Merry Christmas. See, it has a certain beauty. 
Why is she not voiced? She's got a pretty face. Why isn't she? Why is she not voiced? I don't understand. Oh right, the uh, demons and shit. Didn't these guys? Wait. The man and the elf keep their voices to a discreet level, but it's impossible to miss the tension between them. They're arguing. Well, what? What more to convince you? More void woken? A plague? An earthquake? Arx is doomed. Our future is elsewhere. Farrah, come on. Where's this elsewhere that's better than Arx? This is the greatest city in the world. I'll leave it over my dead body. Um, I mean, I've seen better. Exactly. Your dead body. My dead body. This place is dead. We can be together anywhere. They fall into a sullen silence, neither of them willing to give in. Remark that you think they should stay. State that they should leave while they still can. Keep out of their affairs and take your leave. Um... I don't know. I mean, once, you know, the Void Woken are all cleared out, I guess it wouldn't really much be uh, much of a problem. Why don't you guys just stay? Keep out of this. Okay, fine. This is not a good time. Please leave us. I'm just trying to help you guys, dicks. All right. Um, let me just make sure that I didn't miss anything in their inventory. Garbage and just gold. Great. Actually, speaking of which, maybe I should... Yeah, I should probably clear out some of the crap that I picked up. Let's identify some of this stuff, though. Circle of Suns. Flaming Skin. This delicate ring is a token of your bond with the Red Princess. By bond, do you mean when my sword bonded with her face and ended her miserable life? Is that the bond that you're referring to? Because if so, then yes, I would like to commemorate our bond together. Quote unquote, bond. The guide's leg armor. Useless. Magical uh, light breaches, useless. Heavy ring, also useless. Titanic ring, useless. Circle of suns will keep. And ruby necklace will, uh... Yeah, this is... Actually, um... Losa could... Possibly use this. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Losa, why don't you put that on? And then we'll actually give you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Fabrosi has a mystical giant masterwork rune. Mystical masterwork rune. So let's make ourselves a mystical magic rune. A giant masterwork rune. Mystical giant masterwork rune. And I believe this should increase memory if used into, uh, if put into a necklace. So that's... There we go, look at that! Hot diggity damn! Okay. Get out of my... Hey, Byron! Look at that, guys. Holy crap. Okay, so we have three more memory slots. Um... Pressure spike douses fire. It also deals a fair bit of damage. Apportation, um, not super useful. Maybe summoning? I guess. Target character regenerates vitality and magic armor according to the number of allied characters and totems in their vicinity. Well, that's not really going to help Fabrosi or Fane. It'll help Sabeel, but... Well, I guess we might as well give that and summon inner demon, conjure a demon that'll share their intelligence with you and provide 306, uh, 3612 magic armor, grants you power to terrify and protect yourself from demonic with demonic fists. Or planar gateway. Well, mm, I don't know if these are super useful. Pressure spike, maybe, maybe, condense all cloud surfaces in the area. Or Steam Lance. Release a steam of blessed steam which heals characters in its path and removes burning, necrofire, diseased, and decaying touch. It would help Sabeel for sure, as well as Losa, I think, if somehow she was able to apply that to herself. But otherwise, doesn't seem all that great. Let's go with Summon Inner Demon. This sounds kind of nice. There we go. Alright, so let's keep an eye out for other, um, necklace amulet type things that can uh, that have slots in them they're fairly useful especially if you put uh, memory slots on them or whatever you know right 
Vela. Uh, you've got a burnished ring, which provides a crap ton of magic armor. But unfortunately, not really good for Fabrosi. Huntsman and summoning, not super useful. Warfare and scoundrel. An antique ring. Necromancer and summoning. Set poisoned. Okay, this... Holy shit. So wait. Is this going to like constantly heal someone? Because that sounds incredible. 145 magic armor, which isn't amazing. But um, if it's constantly poisoning someone, then it means it's like constantly uh, healing them, right? Why is my inventory screen taking so long to like move around? I don't understand. All right, let's sell all this crap that I don't need. All of it. Take all of it. Take that crap too. Rain scroll will give to uh, Losa. Um, otherwise, I guess we can sell the diamonds and shit too, right? We don't really need all this crap. And yep, we're off. We're gonna offer all that shit and get that antique ring. I mean, we could probably up our discount a little bit more, as a matter of fact. In fact, let's do that. Sorry, uh, let's get Losa talking to her. Yes, um, Losa will now try to improve her, uh, your disposition towards her, as it were. Um,. Okay, I think we might be able to do it this way. Let's give her the brilliant necklace. No, let's give her the diviner's hands. Just give it to her. So, plus four attitude, that's great. And I think that did go up, right? Um, wait, whose attitude is improving? Is it Fabrosi's? Uh, wait, whose attitude is it? Is it low? Oh, it's Losa's. Okay, so it is correct. Um, just seemed a little odd that it didn't really seem to be doing much, but... Any wills? Oh, no, no, sorry. We don't need that. Here, uh, just take it. Alright, now 100%. There we go. So now if we uh, try to get the antique ring, that's a considerably cheaper amount. And let's offer for Brosi's shit. And that should still get the 48% discount. Unless, wait. No, it's still 48. Okay, never mind. Sorry, guys. Here. Offer all the rares. Balance it out with some money. And, bing, bang, boom. We got ourselves a fantastic uh, ring, I think. At least. Let's give it a try. Fane, you want to try putting this on? Um, Geomancer and Summoning. Scoundrel Pyrokinetic Aerothurge. Let's change out your Geomancer and Summoning Ring, the Ring of Fate, and then take this. Okay, so now Fane is constantly poisoned. So, wait, is he like constant? Oh, look at that. That's gonna be very annoying, but still, pretty cool, I would say. Alright, Traitor Adam, what do you got? Got anything uh, interesting? Though he steals it as you promise it ring. His throat. Fuck that noise. I'm not buying a promise ring. An ancient belt. Whoa. That is some crazy... Um, whoa. That is actually really nice. Yeah. You know what? Let's buy that. Okay. No. We need to get a discount. Better discount on this. Sorry. Losa. Do you mind? If you're looking for cat. She's evaluating all of Kem's antiquities. Right, listen, I'm not listening. I'm not looking for cat, okay? If you're in a shopping mood, well, I can help with that. Here, I'm about to give you a fish, no. Um, magical stuff. Yeah, there we go. Let's give you some of this. No, no, no. No gold needed, my friend. Okay, so... I don't know if the attitude is really updating. But, I guess we might as well just give everything all at once. I don't know if that really compounds anything or what. But, okay. Now at 73. We can get there, guys. We can get there. We just need to push it a little bit more. Barbrosi, let's see what else you, ha you have that we can give him. Jar of honey? How about a mug of beer? How about some beer, buddy? And apples and pies and carrots and lemonade and cheese and honey and onion and pepper. Potato porridge. Mashed potato porridge. Poutine. 
How do you not like someone who's giving you poutine? Right? It's gotta be good stuff. What a fucking degenerate. Unbelievable. Wow. His attitude of us only went up by a little bit. What a jerk. What an unbelievable jerk. Here. How about that? Is that, uh, improve things a little bit? Just about. Just about. I guess we might as well just... Take it now. Or buy it now, but nah. We're so close, we might as well just top this off. Uh, sure. Why don't we give you... A hazy ruby. A... Actual several rubies. And a muddy malachite. There. There we go. Now we should have hit 100% and then some. Yep. Alright, great. Let's then buy the Ancient Belt, which appears to provide some ongoing health, I think. And sure, let's do that. Good trade, buddy. Good trade. Alright, so who's gonna take this Ancient Belt? Oh yeah, in between episodes, I leveled these guys up. Um, and since it restores vitality, it's, I'm sure, going to hit uh, Fabrosi pretty hard, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, never mind, don't do that then. Wait, Deflective Barrier. Did your skill- Oh, okay, never mind. It comes back. Right, right, right. Alright, well, let's put this on, uh, um, Sibyl then, because- Sorry, on, uh, Losa, because Sibyl doesn't really get targeted that much. Alright, buddy. We're done here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. This is episode has just been nothing but, uh, me talking about crap and buying shit and negotiating and all that shit, which is not super useful. So the, basically, we got uh, two things that counteract each other. The uh, belt helps uh, Losa uh, regenerate, whereas the uh, ring helps uh, Fane regenerate. And now we're in Linder Kim's mansion. Yeah, that is actually very annoying. <laughs> Shit. Elven bodyguard. And that's Cat the Appraiser. Hey, Cat. For heaven's sake, would you please... Oh, ever so sorry. I thought you were that rotten butler about to warn me once again to take the ocular, not the tactile approach. Right, okay. I swear I have a mind to beat him to death with the nearest dictionary I can find. I would love to watch that. Ask her why he's telling him to look but not touch. Say that in your experience world, atlases tend to be better suited for bludgeoning. Sure. Much obliged. I'll most certainly keep that in mind. That little snob thinks me unworthy of being in his precious lord's mansion, appraising his precious lord's collection of antiques. Just you try judging the state of a Vedistian armor if you're not even allowed to rummage through its drawers. Um, ask her what she's doing here exactly. I'm merely appraising the many antiques gathered in here in this beautiful mansion. No, you're scoping it out to uh, rob the place blind. A roguish little smile suddenly plays upon her lips. There we go. What else would I be doing? Finesse Outlaw, say that you know very well what that smile means. She's staging a heist. Tell her that, uh, tell her she smiles like a general with a, a stratagem, whatever it is you want in. Let's use our Outlaw background. There we go. How oh, very perceptive of you. I could use sharp eyes like that. Consider yourself invited. Sorry, I had to block out uh, Fane and uh, Losa constantly flashing. Ah. <sighs> Oh no! Now listen closely. Rumor has it that Lord Kim's mansion is built upon a massive vault in which he hides his true valuables. His entire house is but a smokescreen for the real treasure hidden underneath. I just realized something. I'm sorry, I don't mean to uh, dismiss whatever you're saying, Cat. I'm sure it's very interesting. But um, I just realized something. So, Fane and Losa, since they're just constantly healing, if they ever get hit by decaying touch, it could actually kill them. Maybe not so much Fane, because he's not healing by that much, but certainly Losa, because she's getting healed by like 1200 uh, HP per tick. Which is crazy. I've had no luck so far in locating this fabled vault. But if you do, I swear the entire horde is yours. No questions asked. What do you get out of it? All I want in return for this information oh, is okay. a trio of curious that is said to be kept inside. The portrait of the divine, the cup of kings, and the scroll of eternity. Everything else is yours. Did you say curious? You mean curios, right? It's a word. Curios is a word. 
Uh, tell her she has a deal. You'll get her the thing she desires should you find the vault. Laugh. You know about the vault now. It'll be all yours. All of it. Now, nah, let's try to cooperate. A most satisfactory arrangement. Ask if she can help you locate the vault. She shakes her head apologetically. There are only whispers of a vault and quieter whispers still of what it may contain. But at least you know now that it's there. I thought we already knew this. Probably. Yeah, well, no, we already knew about the Vault of Linder Kem or whatever. I think we had a uh, quest called the Vault of Linder Kem. Ask about the trio of curios. Did you find them? No. Um, fine, nothing for now. <laughs> I suppose patience. Is all right, all right, take it easy, take it Why, easy. Hello again. Do you have anything for sale? Highly interesting and highly valuable. Perhaps even quite out of your league. We'll be the judge of that. Anything else? Rutoma Revelis, plus five strength, plus one retribution, plus two to uh, polymorph and earth resistance, and an empty slot. Holy crap, holy! Well, I mean, if that's the case, then um, you know what? This might be worth it. When did? Oh, right. That's the. Okay, never mind. Well, um, maybe we should try to take that once. Well, the thing is, now I'm wondering if maybe we should have given Fabrosi uh, Polymorph. Just judging by that, uh, that thing. That's the house girl. Hey, can I talk to you? I don't need this distraction. Why don't you go stroll in the garden or something? Uh, wanna trade? Why do you have a giant healing potion? Hey, Cook oh, Kono. Dear. I wasn't expecting visitors. Do you cook konos? Is that what cook kono means? Or is that a verb? Or is that your name? Your name, your first name is cook and your surname is actually, is kono. I don't understand. Who are you? Um. What? The f Um. Uh, what? What is happening with that guy, exactly? Hey, uh, Losa, can you teleport this guy out of here? Look, he's right there. He, I know it's a little weird. It's a strange request, I realize, but... If he could... Non-teleportable. Wait, no, Losa, you're not, you're not getting it. Listen, there's a guy inside of the bookcase. I... I don't understand. Uh, who is this? Okay, I've learned that we shouldn't go around moving chairs, um, otherwise people will get fucking pissed off and try to kill you. So that is Lady Paulina Kim, Georgia Webb, and Calvert Webb. Alright, well, let's quick save and then talk to these guys. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, mm, yes, I must agree. Um okay. Hey Calvert, do you have anything to say? I don't know that I have ever seen Lady Kemp with her husband. Unusual, I should say. Right, okay. Oh, hon, did you get an invitation to tea? You must have misread the date, my dear. My hands are already full. That's great. Hey, can I? Oh, I can't sneak. Do pass the tea. Sibyl, can you sneak? Possibly. We could even try uh, teleporting the key out of there, as a matter of fact. Yes. Tell me about And try teleporting this to somewhere here and then taking it. Although, I don't know if... I've never actually tried that, so I don't know if that's actually going to uh, piss anyone off. So maybe we'll hold off on that for the time being. In fact, we might be able to just get around this area without, um, uh, without needing it. We can just have Sibyl lockpick shit. And there's some fucking kid named Egbert Kem. Your name is Egbert. Good luck with life. She'll find me. You know what? Let me just put you out of your misery, Egbert. I mean, your name is Egbert. There's no way that you're gonna, uh, get through life unscathed. Might as well just end it now. Whoa! Hello. Got a nice, uh, juicy potion out of that. And we're in Kem's Gardens, where apparently we just got some experience points. And there's Kem's Vault Lever. 
the vault lever is locked. Can I lockpick it? Thievery level too low. Keep his name safe. It must not be spoken. I beg your pardon? The flower is withered. You bend to smell the bloom, but it has no discernible scent. Touch the petals. The moment you finger the silky flower, I see darkness pierces your heart. The chill freezes your bones, then rushes free, leaving a single word etched within you. Okay. God woken. So now flowers are trying to kill us. Or not. I do not understand. But anyways, we've also discovered a waypoint. Unassuming citizen, so that's another unremarkable civilian. Okay, well, we've got demons. Guys, we've got demons. Um... Do we want to tussle with the demons right now? Oh, that's a hatch. I'm assuming that's the actual, uh, vault, then. I see. Kim's Gardens. No, 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 don't take the flower pot. That's not necessary. What the hell is this? Hey, it's a blood rose. We're not in flower. It barely stinks at all. And we just took that blood rose. The entire fucking blood rose bush. I'm sure that thing must have been a bitch to cultivate, yet we just took it. Like it belonged to us. Holy fuck, we are some entitled pricks, aren't we? Okay, who are these guys? Some dudes. That's nice. Okay, you know what? Let's just go picking all these uh, flowers and shit. I'm sure he... Whoa, what is this? The flower's beauty is betrayed by your memories of its sharp touch. Those are somehow demon-related. Unripe hot kettle. This plant has roots of steel. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know why it's there. Um... Thane, can you try poisoning... Uh, poison darting that thing? That did nothing. Thane, that did nothing. Thane, can you explain to me why that did nothing? An amethyst deceiver? Sure, we'll take that. What is this terrarium? An inscription at the terrarium's base identifies its contents as a wailing mandrake, a species you've not heard of before now. Examine the plant. Not every detail is visible through the terrarium's hazed glass, but there is no missing the plant's trumpet-like blooms, perfect for catching raindrops or insects, perhaps. It's just too tempting. Crack the glass container and take a cutting for yourself. It's contained in there for a reason. It's probably going to kill me if it uh, gets unleashed. Fane, you're a scholar. An inscription at the Can you examine it? Is visible. No. Thanks, Fane. That was very useful. Very, very useful. And can we actually... Maybe we can light the torch and that'll unlock it? No, that's not it. Alright, fine then. Be that way. Anything over this way? Some maybe buried treasure? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Fair enough. Um, hmm... Seems to be a lot going on in this uh, area here. Okay, someone has obviously modulated that thing's voice, and there's another one here. This plant has roots of steel. Ah, an unripe hot kettle. What is with those unripe hot kettles? Hey, it's an aviarium, or it's an aviary. Is that right, aviarium? Spirit of Jimmy. Hey guys. Three owls in the enclosure oh, owls. stare you down blankly, fluffing their feathers and blinking in turn. Jimmy, pretty wake thyself. Uh, Jimmy's dead. The owl addressed as Jimmy lies motionless on the ground, looking for all the world like he's stone cold dead. Aye, aye, back thyself up, Jimmy lad. We are blessed with a visitor. Kneel down and examine the prone Jimmy. Spying some blood on Jimmy's beak, you pry it open to investigate. Inside, you see a human finger. Jimmy ate a human finger and choked on it. A few sharp tugs, and you've pulled a severed human hand loose, partially pegged. You don't need to be a genius to surmise that Jimmy choked on his dinner. Sir, sir, quit thy poking and prithee leave yon Jimmy alone. Our lad will ruffle up his feathers in his own sweet time. Um, ask the owls what they do here. Let's not mention that Jimmy's dead for now. What are you guys doing here? Jimmy? Jimmy? What is it we do? 
Oh, blast and bother, Jimmy. Show some civility to our esteemed visitor, won't you? I love how they all have very, like, you know, uh, hoity-toity names. Francisco Hookbeak, Aloysius, um, Aloysius Whitefeather, Malachi Clawgood, and then Jimmy. I love it. Jimmy remains dead. Uninterested in answering petty questions about the world of the living. <laughs> okay, one thing I do enjoy about this game um, that I, well, among other things, like the combat. One thing that I really enjoy about this game is actually the writing. It's got some really good uh, pieces of humor, I find. Um, pick up the half-chewed severed hand. As you gingerly pack the rotting appendage in your backpack, you have occasion to wonder. Not for the first time on this journey. What in the void am I doing? I don't know. Uh, mention that Jimmy appears to be, uh, dead. Deceased? Uncle, sweet Jimmy is just resting his eyes. Sir must be aware that one often needs a small nap after a large dinner. And Jimmy just ingested a banquet. Right, thanks well, guys. Well, we'll tell Jimmy you stopped by. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's hilarious. That is pretty damn hilarious. Well, uh, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow. Um, why is this crate there? We'll come back tomorrow and then I think we will... These aren't the owl's eggs, are they? Has someone been farming the owls for eggs? What a bunch of fucking degenerates not the owls the people who have been farming the owls for eggs that seems a little unusual and there's another uh, owl over here okay well let's end the episode off here for now we'll come back tomorrow and then we will explore the rest of this area owl mistress earthy or whatever i don't know um and then we'll see what's up all right so for now thanks for watching and have good breakfast